Hey everyone, welcome to part 1 of the news playlist. In this part, we're going to implement the splash ABI. So we're gonna design our splash screen and yeah, we're gonna do that in this video. And before we start, let me show you that. So now I'm gonna launch the emulator and I'm gonna open the ready version of this app. And as you can see, this is the splash screen that shows our logo. Let me, let me just show that again. This one, we're gonna show this logo here by default. We don't have that, so as you can see, we show this default icon. We're gonna change that using the new Splash API from Android. And before we dive into this playlist, I want to announce that you can now join our little Android Discord community. So in there, you can actually see the updates about Android development. You can also ask your questions in the help section, and you will get answers from me or from the other community members. And if you are interested in my YouTube channel, then I also have the announcements section here. In here, you can find the latest news about my channel and what I'm working on. So you will find the link of the Discord community in the description and in the first comment of this video. So to do that, we're gonna create a new theme by going to rest and click on values. And in here, we're gonna create a new theme. And let's call this splash. Click on OK. I'm going to add that into get. Yes. And here we're going to create a new style. Then let's give this name of app starting theme. And the parent of this one is theme splash screen. This one comes from the splash API library. Now we want to close this tag. And between this tag, we can configure our splash API. So we can actually add an item here. And we can call this window splash screen background to change the background color of that splash screen. We can make this white. Now let's actually add another item to change the icon. And to change the icon, we can say window splash animated icon, this one. And now we can pass the splash icon. We can say drawable splash. And I have already added this one in the drawable file. So no worries about this icon, you will find it. And then we need to configure one more thing called post splash screen theme. And now we want to pass the main theme for our app. And we can actually know the name of that by going to themes file. This one. So we need to pass this one here. So what this configuration does basically is to apply the main theme of our app after showing the splash screen because this splash screen is just a theme. So after we show the splash theme, we wanna make sure to apply the main theme for our app for the rest of the screens. And now to make this work, we wanna go to the manifest file and we wanna add this theme. You wanna change this one to the one that we just created, which is app starting theme. Same thing for our activity. So we wanna add a theme or here we wanna change this theme to app starting theme. Now last step, we wanna go to the main activity and in here, inside the only create function, we can call and install splash screen. And that's all. But we have not created the night version of the splash screen. So to do that, we can just right click on these values, click here, and we're going to create a new theme with the same name. So splash, but we want to add the qualifier here. So we want to add the night mode. And we want to make this night. Click on OK. Now we can go to the light mode version of this one. We can copy it go to the night version, we can just paste that and we can change the color here. I'm gonna put this one. Now, finally, if we launch the app, we, um, okay, as you can see, there was the splash screen. Let me just run that again here. Okay, let me exit that first. And let me run it. And as you can see, the splash screen was there. Now let's try the night mode. And yup, the night mode also works as we expect. That's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to implement the onboarding screens in Jetpack Compose. See you there.